Good morning. Thank you for joining me for Christian Education Children's Edition. Did you get to hear from Secret Agent Trish on Thursday? So she gave you guys, I know, a very special mission about God's work our hands through some random acts of kindness. Thought that was pretty cool. And tonight at 6.30, actually I'm going to send uh, the Zoom meeting out here really quickly here. But at 6.30 tonight, you guys will get to talk with Miss Madeline about highs and lows and your prayers and blessings and just talk about your uh, how your week has been and, and kind of get centered for next week. So I hope you join Miss Madeline for that. So what we're going to do today is we are actually going to talk about our Bible story and do a little science experiment. Now I know you always all got your bags with all your stuff in it. So what we're going to do for our science experiment today has to do with a sugar cube. So let's go ahead and start our story. It is Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 through 35, which is pretty long. So we might actually, I, I might shorten it just a little bit because it's a pretty long story. Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, when my brother sins against me, how many times must I forgive him? Should I forgive him as many as seven times? Jesus answers, I tell you, you must forgive him more than seven times. You must forgive him even if he does wrong to you 77 times or seven times seven times. The kingdom of heaven is like a king who decided to collect the money his servants owed him. So the, began, the king began to collect his money. One servant owed him several million dollars. But the servant did not have enough money to pay his master, the king. So the master, or, master ordered that everything the servant owned should be sold, even, if this, even the servant's wife and children. The money would be used to pay the king all that the servant owed to the king. But the servant fell on his knees and begged, Be patient with me. I will pay you everything I owe. The master felt sorry for the servant. And the master told the servant he did not have to pay. He let the servant go free. So we're actually going to stop there at 27. So in our Bible story, um, Peter, who came to Jesus, was saying, I'm supposed to forgive people seven whole times, thinking that was a lot. And Jesus came back and said, no, seven times, seven times, seven times, 77 times, meaning you forgive them over and over and over and over and over again, as many times as they do wrong to you, you forgive. And he said, the reason we do that is because God forgives us. We make mistakes all the time. I make mistakes all the time, but I'm always forgiven. And that's the most beautiful thing ever. So we're gonna do a little science experiment with forgiveness. Now, in your bags, you probably got two sugar cubes. Now, you only really need one, but I gave an extra just in case, or if you wanna do it a second time, or if you just wanna eat one, but get permission from your parents first. <laughs> so this is just a cup of water, and it's actually really hot tap water is what it is. So, but it's just out of the tap. I didn't boil it or anything. Let me put it here so you can see it really well. Can you guys see this sugar cube? How many grains of sugar do you think are in there? 100, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000? I actually have no idea, but it looks like a lot. And this, these right here, these sugar, cube, these sugar grains are all of my sins. All the things I do wrong, there's a lot of them. And this water, is God's forgiveness. And because God forgives us, we forgive other people too. So let's do an experiment and let's see if all of our sins dissolve. So I'm gonna drop it in. Let's see, it's actually bubbling. And I'm gonna stir it. So grab a spoon and stir. And can you guys see it? It's getting a little bit smaller, starting to dissolve. If your mom and dad are able to get you um, like water from a tea kettle or microwave water for you if it's safe and then you can do that too and then this happens even faster so I'm just going to keep right on stirring and stirring and stirring do you see the sugar cube anymore I see a couple 
grains of sugar left, but it looks to me like my sins are just gone. Isn't that amazing? So Jesus forgives us and all of our sins just go away. They're just gone, forgiven. And that's what we do for other people. Now, the fun part, you can taste your water and it probably tastes sweet because forgiveness is very sweet. Thank you for joining me for, ch for Christian Education Children's Edition. So glad to see you. And I hope I get to see all of you tonight with Miss Madeline. And again, next Thursday, check in with Miss Secret Agent Trish again. Pretty cool stuff. I'll see you guys later.